the burnout that we're seeing in big law associates in 2021 was completely avoidable, but that would require big law firms to be even remotely forward thinking. Today, I'm spilling all the details about what I've seen from big law associates in 2021 and why big law firms have so totally dropped the ball. Hi, I'm Sarah Cottrell. I practiced law for 10 years and now I help unhappy lawyers ditch their soul sucking job so that they can trade lawyering for a better life. On this channel, I share what you need to know if you're an unhappy lawyer who wants to identify an alternative career and get out. Here's one headline from Business Insider. Big law associates share their pandemic burnout stories. And here's another. Bonuses may not be enough to solve big law's associate problem. And look, I'm not saying that the pandemic hasn't created an extra hard time for everyone. It absolutely has. But big law firms seem to have been particularly poorly positioned to weather the pandemic without burning out their people. Why? Well, if you're new to former lawyer, you may not know that I started my legal career in 2008 as a big law litigator right as we were hitting the Great Recession. Firms everywhere slashed and burned through associates ostensibly because they were financially suffering, although many posted record profits per partner but I digress. So firms gutted the bottom of their pyramids between 2008 to 2010, and then hiring never really returned to pre-2007 levels. Keep in mind that big law firms are structured to function as a pyramid, right? Pyramid? But now the bottom of the pyramid is much, much, much smaller than it used to be. And on top of that, there's the whole looking down on people who give any sort of impression that they have interests or priorities beyond the firm. I literally know someone who was told, it really seems like your family is a bigger priority than the firm. And like that was a negative thing. Like that was a problem. And of course, there's also the fact that burnout is treated as an individual problem that the individual needs to manage and not something that's a product of the system that treats people as, mm, as though they would prefer them to be machines instead of humans. Fast forward 10 plus years from the time that I graduated law school and 2020 hits. Big law firms, which were already operating with basically zero bandwidth and wringing their associates dry, now had to operate in this environment we were all having to operate in with like so much added stress and anxiety and the blurring of the lines between work and home and, well, you know, everything, pandemic life. But because of their inherently unsustainable structure, which maximizes profits per partner, like current profits per partner over almost every other metric, big law firms just didn't have the capacity to flex. I mean, even if they could flex a little bit, they just couldn't flex enough. Since last summer, I've regularly received emails from big law associates who are four, five, six months into their career in big law and are just like, I have to get out, which... Credit to them, it took me several years to figure that out. Even though they're from different firms, they all tell the same story. Massive quantities of work, low empathy, lip service being paid to mental and physical health of associates without any actual practical steps being taken to truly support the attorney's mental and physical health. And the worst part? This was all completely predictable from the time that Big Law gutted the pyramids, didn't rebuild, kept piling on more and more work, expecting more and more hours, chasing greater and greater profits per partner. Associate burnout is not a bug in a system that otherwise works. Associate burnout is a feature of the Big Law system. There's a reason Big Law can't fix this problem by just giving associates more money. It's because associates know that the system is designed to burn them out. This is not a bug or a temporary reality. It's a feature, a fixed feature of the big law system. Big law has to do better, but I'm not sure that it's capable of it. If you're a burnt out big law associate and you need to get out, download my free guide, First Steps to Leaving the Law at formerlawyer.com slash first. That's my rant on big law for this week. Thanks so much for watching and have a great week.